go to settings then to users you'll see that there is a default REI inspector user already inserted into the app when you download it from the App Store for those of you who are going to be syncing to REI master this particular user will be overwritten with users from the REI master database when you sync for the first time for those of you using the app as a standalone you will need to add users in by clicking on the plus button at the top here and obviously filling in detail here for your user so contact number and email address as well as a name of course so we have filled in that information there and must save of course so we have our extra user showing there select area groups and items you'll see in here we can add in a number of groups and items listed underneath those groups there I have a couple set up already entry living room kitchen etc you can see as I click into these the items that appear underneath for those particular ones now we'll just have a quick look at inserting a new group and adding items to that group if I have a look in look scroll down on here I need to insert ensuite as an option for one of my groups to do so I select add group here and enter in the name of my group I scroll down to the bottom here and I can see ensuite and by highlighting it there we can see there are no items contained within there yet so we now need to add items for that particular group start to add those in by selecting the add item box and hitting save and again as we go and insert information it just gets added to the ensuite group as we work through so I'm just going to go through and enter in a few of those options there and then we'll look at some of the filtering or the adjustment options we have available in this area So I now have a number of items showing underneath my ensuite group. What we have options to do with these is to be able to um, adjust the list or delete information. The way to adjust the list is to tap and hold and you'll find you get a little list mover option available here. What I'm going to do is just move the toilet down, down, down to here, release and you'll see it'll have moved in the option there. We we'll grab windows and just move that one up a little way and grab ceiling and move that down so we can reorder the list if we wish to do so double tap again to bring you back to the list of items there another option of course is to delete a an item that you no longer require and what we we'll do here again if we tap and hold we also now get the option over on the right hand left hand side here if I select that or tap on it I get a delete option showing here again if I double click or double tap back back to my list my other way of deleting uh, information in there is to just swipe across to get a delete option showing here and again with that one click on delete to remove that item from the group I'm just going to insert those ones back in there and we'll have a look at inserting our groups and items into a template for inspections select area templates and we have a list here of templates that have been inserted into the program the Queensland entry and exit report template which shows here is inserted by default into the app itself the other three that I have showing in the list here are ones that I've inserted earlier we'll show you how to add another template into the system and add groups and items to that to add a template click the plus button at the top of the screen here type in a name for your new template here before I can save my new template of course I need to add groups to it by selecting the add group option I get a list of the ones that I've set up previously 
and click in and add my options in there simple as clicking into that information So I'm going to add in a number of options available to me there. Within those options now for a two bedroom unit we can look further at the items that show and by showing the drop down list there looking at doors, walls, windows, blinds, curtains etc as the individual items within those groups. Looking at those ones there as well we can see all the ones have been listed in there. Make sure you select save to keep your changes there and you now have a two bedroom unit option showing with a number of groups and items added in. There's options available of course within there to add further items to your groups also to delete information. We'll just have a look at one of the options we've got in here. We've got an option in here for a living room, kitchen, master bedroom, bathroom and laundry for my one bedroom flat. We go into this one here just as an example and um, we can say that maybe a washing machine isn't relevant into this one at the moment so we can swipe to access the delete option and remove it from my item in here, from my group in here. My other option as well is to delete the group in total if I need to do so and by doing the swipe again I can click on the delete option there. Okay. My other option of course is to move information around within the uh, template itself so click and hold until you get the list mover option here and from there I can move information up and down in the list as necessary. Make sure you of course double click to get back to your list of information there and with any adjustments as well make sure you select save before you exit. Again in our list we have the ability to remove information or templates by swiping across and clicking on the delete option there. Select shorthand words. Shorthand words are abbreviations of words or sentences to assist you with your inspection. To add a shorthand word, click on the plus button at the top here, insert your shorthand word, we'll put CT here, and CT in my books will mean clean and tidy, and save. Just add another one in here as an example. This one here, STN for stain evident and save again. So when I am in my inspection I can use the abbreviations or my shorthand words to insert longer words or sentences into my inspection as I go. Go to settings then to registration details Make sure you fill in your business information in the top half here. So your business name, your address, your state, phone number and email address. Most importantly that your state is selected from the drop down list here. The New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria options that show there are important because what it will allow you to do is to complete or print your exit and entry inspection notices in the required formats for those states. Select settings then options. Your options available to you in here in regards to emailing your reports to the landlord or to the office and also to show a property image on your routine report. The image that you're looking at is your report logo that shows here. This image must be part of your camera roll in order to select and insert here. Your other option there is to show the inspection item photo thumbnails on the reports themselves. If you switch it on you'll get a little image of the photo you've taken. If you switch it off you'll get a default image showing in there. Your other option or other information in the options area is your disclaimer and again insert some information as relevant for the disclaimer about how you conduct the inspections. Remember to click done to complete your information.